Okay. This is uh, my version of a, um, a Steropore shredder made up of uh, leftover plyboard, a bit of um, a bit of channel tube here, canal tube, sorry, with lots of little nails put in there. This part I call the echidna. Yeah. This is the Mark II version. The Mark I version was run on um, some old skateboard bearings, which worked for a while, but uh, needed replacing in the end, which is why I've now got these UVU fellas off uh, eBay. And it was also driven by a, a power drill. And as you can see now, she's been hooked up to a a series motor out of a wash machine along with the, the flywheel and that has the, the thing working so much better unbelievably better on a new shaft as well I'll just give it a go show you how she works there we go, up and running chilly the big stuff like this, not a problem Go through it like butter, as you can see. And with this attachment, put that inside while it's running, no problem. Delete the small stuff. The thing was, putting the small stuff in there before, it used to get jammed in the wheel, not a good thing. It gets all caught down in this bag. And that just feeds in there beautifully. Works a treat. Turn it off for a sec. What I'm actually doing is recycling the Steropore because it used to be um, inside the roof here. And if I point up there, you can see I've got a crap load of the stuff all through the, the roof, all sitting on the beams at the moment. And that was used to insulate this place, but not very well. And since we're rebuilding the roof, I'm going to be putting what's left, this small stuff, real beads of Steropore, mixing it with lem, mud, and putting that in between uh, the wooden frame. So it'll actually, uh, the thing is, Steropore in itself, it's not um, porous. But with lem in between, I'm hoping to get that, that warm effect from the Steropore and uh, the diffusion often, the, the porous effect from the, the limb so that moisture can pass through the wall. Yeah, anyway, that's the, um, that's the Steropore Shredder.